Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Hunter, and today I want to talk on a more sore subject that's going around today. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is about the Gabby show and the rice gum incident. If you are not familiar, I'll leave a video down below explaining everything from the drama channels and stuff like that. And I'll also leave Gabby's original Snapchats down below. Um, if But to sum it up really quick, um, Gabby was at a party where rice gum was. Uh, she wanted to battle him. Free, like a freestyle rap battle, and uh, he found, at first he found it amusing, and like he laughed it off and said no, but then Gabby brought up uh, his ghostwriter, and then he got physically abusive, and uh, shattered her phone. Now, I'll leave the story and all of the videos down below that you need to see. She has since been paid for the phone. Uh, but he ended up paying her too much, so she did pay him back. She has the receipts and everything. Um, but I just want to touch on my views on said things and such. First off, I have never really been that big a fan of Rice Gum. I only found him through Gabby a few months ago when she did her diss track back to him after he made his original one at her, which was just fucked up altogether. Because if you're just going to come out of nowhere and call someone ugly, big nose, you know, basically, you know, a fucking ogre of the internet, uh, you should be able to take some criticism back if you're making a living making fun of other people. So for her to come up to him and bring up his conspiracy, I guess you can say, um, and for him to get abusive, but he makes all these jokes about other, other people and they never lash back in that kind of way. It's fucked up. Now, um, he has changed his story a lot, according to Gabby. Um, I haven't seen all the videos because, um, don't got time for that. <laughs> There's a lot of videos going around. I'm sure if you just search Gabby Rice Gum, you'll find one. And, um, apparently he has changed his story a lot. It started with him, uh, just, like, trying to take your phone, and then it turned into, like, a struggle to him. And, uh... I don't know, but, uh, it's never okay to abuse anyone, especially if you're a creator making fun of other creators. Be able to take some and just laugh it off. Um, I know there's gonna be some comments on this video. Rice gum didn't do anything wrong. Gabby's my queen. Rice gum is forever. I know there's gonna be those comments. I don't give a shit. If you're my friend, like, in person, like, I know you, please don't try to come for my rescue. Because the next thing I'm gonna say will shock you. <laughs> Maybe not. But I am siding with Gabby, not just because I've been her fan for almost a year now, but because um, through the receipts and her facts and her evidence and stuff like that, she has solid proof that this was the truth was her side, I guess I could say. Um, I'm not saying that Rice Gum wasn't in the truth somehow, because, you know, there's they always say there's three sides to every story. Um, someone else is someone else's and the truth. So, you never know what everyone's saying, if they're exaggerating. But at this current moment, I am siding with Gabby because she has the receipts, the evidence, the facts, the lies that she can debunk. I'll leave her video down below um, where she debunked all the lies that he said. Um, but yeah, that's my take on it. Uh, 